on there. Oh yeah, Martin here. Thank you for joining me for Turner's Journey episode 35. I hope you are all well and you have had super creative weeks in your workshops. Um, this week has been a good week, um, well, and a bad week uh, in the workshop. Um, I've got three more episodes of uh, the Beginners series filmed, done, in the can and ready to edit. Uh, I did have to pause uh, filming one of them because I stupidly cut my finger on the spindle gouge. Um, <laughs> or cut my thumb. Um, and I'd only just sharpened it as well, so there's blood everywhere. It was a nightmare. Um, and yesterday, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, or if you are a member of Woodchuckers on Facebook, um, you would have seen me post this. Um, a broken bowl. Um, the colouring, I, I loved doing the colouring, and this was going to be Tuesday's video, but um, it broke, as you can see. Um, now, very, very quickly, um, it went through the whole turning process, no problem, with one catch, um, and it was a, um, a silly mistake. I'd lost concentration for a second, I think, um, and it caught when I was turning the inside and split the bowl from the rim down to about there. So I CA glued it together and then taped it up um, and it held together really well whilst I finished turning the walls down nice and thin. And I sanded it and I coloured it and I oiled it and I sealed it and I put Hampshire Sheen on it. And then I wasn't very happy with the rim. Um, so I just went to start turning the rim or messing around with the rim to change it to put some gilt on it. Uh, got the tiniest catch and it blew up. Not very happy about that. So anyway, here's, here's the, I was filming the inside of the bowl and here's the catch. Um, I'll show you the catch. Well, I was just turning as normal, making each, each cup go as far as I can from the rim down to the center. Everything was going fine. reversed the gouge, I reversed the gouge back to do um, um, a shear scrape on the inside and then BOOM! I get a catch. And it has split the wood. Yeah, one catch just, just over here. Um, and as you can see, it, it it split the wood, but then I CA glued it back together and taped it up, and it, it was fine. Um, so that was going to be Tuesday's project video. So here's a question for you: What would you guys like to see me do on Tuesday? Um, if you leave a comment below, um, I'll choose one or I'll choose the most popular one uh, and I'll see if I've got the wood that I can do it. I'll have to film it on Tuesday and Monday morning or well, Monday but I'll get it ready for Tuesday so leave me a comment about what you'd like to see me do on Tuesday. Make sure you get the comment in by uh, first thing Sunday morning UK time and I'll do my best to get that project done um, for you in time for Tuesday if I've got the wood to do it. Um, speaking of projects, um, I've got to say a big thank you for the huge feedback and the terrific number of views the Sphere project did, had, um, that went out on Tuesday. Um, it was a lovely project to turn, it really challenged me and it was a fabulous exercise in uh, tool control. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed turning it, so massive thanks for all of the comments on that. And if you've downloaded the full-length version, which is in two parts, off my website, thank you. Um, there were so many downloads, it actually crashed the website. My bandwidth went through the roof, so I had to go in and I had to up the bandwidth to get, get the website back, back in order. So if you've downloaded that, thank you, and if you've bought the um, PDF worksheet, the step-by-step -step worksheet that goes with it, 
fabulous, thanks. Don't forget you can send me pictures now of the projects that you've done, um, or the, that um, a project that I've done that you've been inspired by, um, on my contact form on the website I've got um, uh, an attachment thing on there now so you can send me a picture and in the future or in a couple of weeks time I'll, I'll get some up on a gallery on the website and also show some off in Turner's journey I suppose. Um, now um, Ben, I think it was Ben Wild and Jake's Wood Turning in Australia asked me about my, my roughing gouge. Here it is. That's it. It's got, um, it's got uh, swept back wings. Um, and here, here, here it is. And why do I have swept back wings? Um, uh, I think I saw Brendan Stemp on YouTube, um, oh, a good couple of years ago, um, with swept back wings on his roughing gouge, and I thought I would have a go. Um, and I have to say, I love it. Um, it gives me a little bit more room to cut. I've got quite a large cutting surface or cutting edge that I can use. Um, and it also cuts down on the number of catches as well, um, I find. Don't, yeah, that's the reason why I've got the swept back wings. No other reason other than um, other than that. Um, what else? Yeah, YouTube. Um, YouTube. I mentioned in Turner's Journey episode 33 that um, I'll be adding links to um, the stuff that I use. Um, so I've done some exploring and stuff and... Um, Beneath all of the major project videos now, uh, including the beginners series, I'm putting links to eBay to the bits that I use. So there's links to um, searches for uh, spirit stains and airbrushing compressors, Dremels, that uh, pyrography machines, that kind of thing. Because I get a lot of comments about, oh, that's great, where can I get one of those? To help you further, um, I'm putting the links in the description and all I've got to do now is go back through all of those videos and add uh, a little annotation to the video to say that links are in the description. Um, and the links that I'm, I'm posting geolocate uh, to your locality. So if you click the link and you're in America, the link will take you to um, ebay.com where it will pull up a search for spirit stains available in the US, like if you're in Australia, um, it'll give you a search for spirit stains that are available in Australia, and of course if you're in the UK, it will take you to ebay.co.uk and show you the same. So I'm hoping that they will be um, helpful for you. Again, sorry, I'm thinking on my feet as usual. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, the Beginners um, Series Part 2, which went out with the Gardener's Dibber, Huge thanks for all of your supportive comments and your reminiscences. Reminiscences? Yeah, your reminiscences um, about um, when you guys started turning and the lays that you used and that you've turned a dibber and stuff. And thanks to the people that have sent me pictures um, as well of dibbers that they've turned um, recently too as a beginner. It's brilliant to see and I'll sort out a beginner's gallery uh, on the website as soon as I can. Is there anything else? Oh yeah, Day in the Life last week, last week's Turner's Journey. Yeah, Alan Simpson uh, in Ireland, thank you, I consider myself well and truly told off. Um, I've done my lines, as you've seen, because I emailed them to you. Um, uh, yeah, I, most days are similar to that. Last Wednesday did happen to turn out to be um, a slightly busier day than normal, but most days are very, very similar to that. And for those of you who are worried about family time and work-life balance, I have family time. I spend quality time with my girlfriend every day and my stepson and my own kids when they come to visit. You know, I, I do have that time. I make sure that I have that time every day. Um, yeah, I've got, um, I've got loads of bowl blanks over there. Most of them are damp or a bit wet. Um, and what I thought I would do is, I've, I've got a, an avenue through which I can sell them, so I thought I would turn them down um, to finished bowls, let them dry, let them warp a little bit, and then finish them, because who said a bowl should be round? Who said a bowl should be perfectly round? Especially a natural edge bowl, because the, the edge of the, the bowl is wonky, so why can't a bowl be slightly warped and I thought well why don't why don't I put a range together of wonky bowls 
So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to rough out a load of those bowls next week um, and try them out. I've got to turn them down, get them to a point where they can be finished. So I'll dry the surface, finish that outside surface, leave them to dry and warp a bit, um, and then um, and then finish them on the lathe when they are dry, so we can then have some slightly warped wonky bowls, because nobody said a bowl should be round, it's just our per perception of what a bowl should be. Um, thousands of years ago, bowls weren't perfectly round, they were slightly wonky, slightly warped, you know, so why not now? So I'm going to give that a go. I'm going to give that a go. I've also got 10 pens I need to make for um, a local gallery and also I need to speak to um, a lady about an opportunity in Portsmouth which I'm really looking forward to. I did mention it ages ago um, and now it's beginning to come to fruition so um, I'll let you know those details as and when they happen. Uh, yes, that is it for this week, folks. I hope I haven't droned on for too long. Leave a comment um, below um, about what you'd like to see me do in Tuesday's video. Um, I'll see if I've got the wood for it, so I can't guarantee, but uh, leave me a comment below and I will do um, one of the projects that is suggested in the comments. That's it. Thank you very much indeed for watching, folks. I will see you on Tuesday for um, your project video. Wednesday well hopefully your project video, Wednesday for the next edition of the Beginners series and of course next Friday for Turner's Journey episode 36. Bye for now.